On March 25th, 2020, we stopped full-time travel to usher in the next big milestone of our lives. This is like the last trip. The last hurrah. Yeah. We're in the middle of the Aussie Outback. For the last 14 plus years that we've been together, we've either lived in our parents' back room, slept on planes, trains, and hotel rooms. So when we got pregnant, we made the massive decision. We have super exciting news. <laughs> we bought a house! To prepare our own little nest for our baby girl to come home to. Wow, this is crazy. Welcome to our place, everybody. We finally have a place that we can call our own. And it feels so surreal that it has now been a year later. It is currently the 31st of March, 2021, and we are now packing up the home that we brought Baby Hunter to and made all those family memories in. So one of our biggest questions that we received when we bought the van is the van just for sometimes trips? Are you guys moving in it full time? And the biggest question was, what are you doing with your house? And so we've decided to just take the plunge, move out of our home, pack up everything we own and move into the van full time. And for those who are asking, yep, with the house, we have decided to just rent it out and uh, <laughs> So we've got people moving in in two weeks time. There's still so much to do. <laughs> yeah. So when we moved in, there was nothing in the grocery stores. No eggs, no pasta, and we even had to borrow toilet paper from my parents. As we waited for Little Hunter to arrive, we began unpacking boxes filled with memories from over the years. And we began to make our house feel like a home. We got busy building furniture. I think everybody should just call me Builder Steve from now onwards doing little house renos and excitedly decorating her nursery ready for her arrival. I remember this room in the house being the one we were most excited about because we were finally going to have a guest room. And after all these years of people allowing us to stay in their home, we were gonna finally have a room where they could stay. But little did we know that this room was going to be the least used room and um, yes, has since turned into our dumping ground. So as you can see, it's kind of turned into our storing ground for the van. We have our bench cushions for our seat. We have all our bedding ready for when the van is done. And also our boxes so we can start packing up the house. I remember you were so heavily <laughs> pregnant. I'm pretty sure Jess was in the other room building Ikea furniture and I needed to get a hammer and I popped out for like 20 minutes and came back and you'd pretty much built the entire thing. <laughs> I'm one of those like, my, like the minority that actually love building Ikea furniture. <laughs> and we had these bedside tables ready and then we were so excited the day that your parents could use it. And it was I think... 10 months after moving in and they could finally come and stay. So I think it is officially time to start packing and the first thing I am attacking is um. This cupboard right here, we got it for one thing and one thing only, to store all of my board games. Yes, I have so many board games, that side is also full and I'm pretty sure in the sheds, we also have a couple more boxes full. It's a problem. Back out on the streets, damn no man as it is good as me. You and yellow dresses, green eyes, olive complexion, with you I don't need sleep to dream. This is your Wozjig obsession, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I will finish those one day. Hey, and all the puzzle things that I have. Oh, yes. Hunter, when you're a big girl, are you going to play all these ball games with us? Ready, yes? All right, we've decided we want to keep a couple of small ones for the van. So we're going to take with us Sushi Go, Monopoly Deal, and Exploding Kittens. If you guys don't have these games, definitely recommend it. Very fun, especially on a road trip or like a family holiday. One box done? Yay! Don't leave me hanging. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty, you know when you're packing up a house, the best snack to have. You could say that we are hot cross buns enthusiasts. The real question is, we're going for an apple and cinnamon today. I don't know if this is a worldwide thing, but it's not Easter unless you have a hot cross bun. Alrighty, so I've been left with the task of um, 
sorting out my office. <laughs> this is more of an office, so um, sent the girls to go and um, pick what clothes they want to bring in the van. and we've told her that she needs to choose everything she wants to bring on the van and also clean up her nursery. Um, Baba, we can't bring all of this stuff. We're moving into a van. All right, can we just, oh my goodness. Is this the? This is the yes pile. This is the yes pile. Oh hey, my... there's been a lot of no's, look in that box. Okay, okay, okay. And then can we just appreciate my yes pile? <laughs> oh, is it I sacrifice so you can live? Hey, I said pick what you want, that's what you picked. <laughs> last year. Luckily you can't read yet. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Alrighty, we have to stop packing up the house for a very important day. It's this one's first ever Easter. And so, of course, she's dressed up for the occasion. Are you a little bunny? Oh. <laughs> it's her new thing where she, whenever she sees her, she goes, oh. <laughs> She just sees. And she sees herself in the mirror, even, and she'll go, oh. Did she just do it to you? Yeah, she did. What's going on? And look at this. <gasps> this is the East Bunny basket, and we're going to go and collect eggs. And we have ears for mum. These from last year. These are from last year. Ears for mum. Yeah, look, I'm a bunny. Hello. And look, ears. Oh. Ears for you? What do you think? These are the ears. We do already have ears on her, technically. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. Look, you're just like your little bunny friend. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I found this still in the thing. This is the Easter oh, card I gave cute. you last year. Oh, yes, and the Polaroid picture that didn't work. To Jesse, happy Easter 2020. I'm not sure if people give out greeting cards on Easter, but they sold them, so I picked them up. This is the last time it's gonna be just us celebrating Easter. So I tried to make it a little more special. You're going to be a great mum, love Stevie. That is so <laughs> cute. So weird reading that and then here she is. I know, giving us uh, faces. Let's just see if I can sneak liquid on without her noticing. Okay. Oh, hello little bunny. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's the new face she's doing. Oh. Shall we teach you some traditions of Easter? You're gonna love this. Should we go find some Easter eggs, Mama? Alrighty, Hunter. So, last night, the Easter Bunny came and we've got this basket for you and we're gonna go find some eggs. Oh. We ready to find some eggs? You got your first egg! Have you looked inside yet? Oh, 
Is that a cheeky blueberry? <laughs> New family tradition. Every year, the Easter Bunny brings blueberries to our house. <laughs> <laughs> when the sugar hits. Have you looked outside yet? There might be something that the Easter Bunny took. Oh! Out there, so two people can have some sugar rushes. Alrighty, so you've got the basket, and um, you're pretty good at finding these eggs, so... Apparently there is something out here for me. Any spots you see it, Bubs? Mm. Do you reckon it's behind this tree? Do you see it yet? Mm, is it over there? Mm, is it over here? Do you spot it? What is this? What's that, Baba? I think you found Dad's Easter egg. Do you want to grab it for me? Thanks for finding it for me, Malteser Easter egg. <laughs> All right, we can share. That's fine. Oh, Baba, that one's actually Mum's. Um, happy Easter. <laughs> So every year, Mom makes Easter Bunny cupcakes. What do you think? And this year's little special because Hunter, this is going to be your little Easter Bunny secret. Adults may be cheeky and upgrade the blueberries to um, some of the chocolate eggs we found. <laughs> and I know what you're all thinking. Yes, we agree. It is an Easter, unless you are uh, receiving a letter from Santa. Yep, it has finally come. We have had so many people asking if we received our Santa letter because how long ago did we go to Finland? So long ago. So long ago. So for this Christmas, we were waiting for a special postcard and a special letter to arrive. And they came just a couple of days ago. So we were like, you know what? Instead of falling into Santa's sack, they must have fallen into the Easter Bunny's basket. And that's okay. It's only a couple of months late. But I always remember, I actually couldn't remember what we wrote on this. So this is the postcard we wrote for Hunter to get on her first Christmas. And it says, okay. To our little one, because back then we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl anything, so we didn't even know what her name was going to be. It's your very first Christmas. This postcard came to you all the way from the North Pole while you were still in Mummy's tummy. And I have no idea what's in this one because this one is addressed to Baby Perry Valentine. And I think this one has come from the big man himself. It says official Santa mail on the back. It says Merry Christmas from the Arctic Circle. To Baby, because that was her first name, <laughs> Baby Harry Valentine. To Baby, how are you? I'm fine and especially delighted that so many of you have sent a real letter or drawing. It comes with the Santa's Certificate of Niceness 2020. I, Santa Claus, award you Baby Perry Valentine Santa's official niceness certificate that fully and irreversibly testifies that you have been so nice this year that you have been added to the nice list. So, Hunter, you are officially on the nice list. <laughs> I can't believe this, but I'm about to sit down to film the final van episode. That's going to be coming soon, so if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you guys are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.